In Animal Crossing New Horizons, the most valuable bugs are also the most deadly, namely the tarantula and scorpion, which will chase you down and knock you out. As it happens, there is a way you can turn a mystery island tour into a tarantula farm, making it a veritable spider island that can earn you up to 12,000 bells per caught tarantula. However, be prepared to potentially travel to a bunch of different islands, have a lot of tools ready, and spend a decent amount of time stripping the place bare. First things first, you're going to need to make sure you have the right tools for the job, including a shovel, iron axe, ladder, vaulting pole, and a few bug catching nets. Get the better tools recipes to increase their durability. You'll also need as much spare inventory as you can afford, so purchase both inventory expansions from the terminal if you have the miles to spare. Speaking of miles, it'll cost you 2,000 miles for a ticket to travel to a mystery island, and unfortunately you can't guarantee the island you visit is prime spider material, so be warned. Once you arrive at your random mystery island anywhere from 7pm to 4am, you need to check what kind of island you found, as they appear to use many different templates, and not all are equal. Ideally, the best island you can get is a flat one with minimal or no rivers and no elevation. However, in order for this to work, your island must support bug life. This means that you need to make sure that bugs are already appearing on the island, whether they are beetles and flowers, moths on trees, or roaches on rocks. If you don't see any, that likely means the island doesn't support fauna, and you'll need to try a different one. If you do see bugs, you're going to need to move on to the next phase, getting rid of anything a bug might appear on. An island can only support about three to four bugs at a time. If there are opportunities for other less enticing bugs to appear, they'll take it. To ensure the tarantulas or scorpions have a chance to appear, you'll need to destroy everything else. Chop down every tree on the island to prevent any insects from appearing on them, like moths or beetles. Store the fruit for now, you'll need it later. Dig up every tree stump to prevent beetles from appearing on them. Move the flowers to the beach and pick their buds, both so they don't take up space and so other bugs won't spawn on them. Eat your fruit and then strike all of the rocks on the island to destroy them and prevent pill bugs and centipedes from hiding under them. You do not need to pick up weeds, but if it helps with visibility, then do so. Be sure to dump all the excess resources you've gained by destroying the island onto a corner of the beach so they don't get in the way. You'll want as much free inventory space for all those wonderful critters. At this point, the only things left that can appear on the island is anything that is normally found crawling on the ground. Depending on the month, this will be limited to things like tiger beetles or wharf roaches, as well as the rarer tarantulas and scorpions. Once your island is looking nice and barren, it's time to develop a fortified base to keep you safe from the creepy crawlies. Pick a small section of the island and dig several holes in a diamond shape around you, allowing you to easily hop over the gaps when running into them at an angle. This will be your safe spot to lure tarantulas and scorpions to. The hardest part is getting them to appear, even after all you've done. With limited space on the island, you'll need to chase away anything that aren't the spiders you're looking for. Race along your island to scare off beetles, and be sure to check any black rocky shores for wharf roaches hiding there. As you do this, the bugs you don't want will scatter, freeing up the chance for rare bugs to appear. Once you see a tarantula or scorpion, or they see you, They'll chase you if you run. Lead them back to your base and hop over to relative safety to capture them from there. Alternatively, you can hold A with your bug net and approach the tarantula slowly. Once the spider jumps into the air, let go of A to capture it. Then you simply repeat the process of scattering away other bugs by running across the island once more. If done correctly, and with enough patience, you can fill up your inventory with bugs worth 8,000 bells each and sell them to Timmy or Tommy when the shop opens in the morning. Even better, hang on to them until Flick comes to town and sell them for 12,000 each instead. And that's how to make your very own spider farming island. I hope it was worth it. Be sure to also check out things you should do every day and how to make big money from bell trees. Also check out our comprehensive wiki guide. And for everything else, make sure to stick with IGN.